You want revenge? Bring it! This place is a total wreck. Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Again? That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades. That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders. Man! All right! I finally found you! Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear. Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I, I mean it. Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Huh! Even we've already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the hunting blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Nan! Uh. This still doesn't explain what the hunting blades are doing here. Good point. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? She never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. Man, why did it have to end up like this? They said... they said I was... F fired! Carol, keep your spirits up. I can't be happy anymore. It's like her words are a dagger in my heart. She was just worried it'd be too dangerous for you. There's still hope. Huh? Y you think so? Ugh, whatever. I don't care about what she thinks. The problem is your guild, right? I get it. Right. Yeah. I don't care about Nan. This hurts to watch. I'm rooting for you, Carol. What sort of Blastia is this? Hey! Get your grubby mitts off it. Of course, it's slightly different from the norm, but it looks like a type of warp blastia. Its activating mechanism is... let's see... What's the matter? There's no activation switch. It's properly equipped with a core, and it doesn't look like it's the type where you can activate it by removing the core. So maybe there's an activation switch located somewhere else? Perhaps. If there were another Blastia like this one in this town, it wouldn't be too unusual for there to be some device to manage all of them at once. Oh, so we can't activate it then. Huh? Why is it too bad? I just had a hunch it would lead to something interesting. Blastia isn't a toy, you know. Couldn't we just look for the device that's managing it? Yes. Sure. 
Maybe we can find it. This looks easy. Don't let him trip you. Was this town really destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. Yeah, they don't look like they collapsed from the ground shaking. Something's weird. Yeah, so how were they destroyed then? Got me. Maybe we can find out by asking someone who used to live in the town. That's not really why we're here though, so why should we care? You actually have a point there. mainly do as a guild. Like their name says, they make their living hunting monsters. It's not like there's any shortage of monsters once you're outside the barriers. Business must be booming. Yeah, they definitely get a lot of commissions. But the hunting blades aren't killing monsters just because someone asked them to. Monsters are evil. This evil must be punished. That's the creed of the hunting blades. I wonder if any of them are doing it just for their own personal grudges against monsters. Oh yeah, a lot of people. Like Nan's parents were killed right before her eyes when she was a kid. Huh. It'd be hard not to hold a grudge after something like that. It looks like a dead end. Should we head back, or...? Hold on. I'm gonna have a look around. Weird. There's not a keyhole or anything. Really? Yuri, an amateur like you would never be able to open a door like... I wouldn't want Captain Carroll to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, shall we? Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and, oops, no more foot. What? Whoa! Eh, looks fine to me. Let's go inside. What am I? Your test dummy? What's this do? Get your grubby mitts off it! I don't want to have to tell you again. It seems like it might be an activation switch for the Warp Blastia upstairs. Nothing's happening. It doesn't have enough air. Not enough air. I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Ah, the sorcerer's ring. I'm not sure. 
But you might as well give it a try. It worked! Maybe that means we'll be able to use the Warp Blasty upstairs. Let's go. We can do this.
was easy. was easy. So it looks like the Blood Alliance isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Th that man. We saw him in Daydon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? What? No way, man! He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh. So how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes, it is. I see. Sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? What makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back? It sounded like you were fired. No way! I've been planning on leaving for a while. Uh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah, if they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah, a lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups, and the chief being here is out of the ordinary too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. Disturbing power now unleashed. We are now judgment upon the 
Booty Blastia of yours. It's pretty, huh? That's not what I was gonna say. Guess we can do this. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. These are the threads that weave our future. That thing. That thing? That fatal strike thing. You can't just imitate what you saw and hope it'll work. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Uh, uh, first, you go and attack the enemy. You're throwing off balance. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! I see it. What? I see my opening to attack. Yuri, that was amazing! Uh, that was just copying what I saw. I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? No way! It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that. I know that. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. I'm... I'm not? You too, Estelle. Uh, really? All right, let's go. That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome!
I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh, yeah. Stella wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, at that point, your journey should have ended. Well, uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Wasn't it Rego? Huh? That villain? Yoder was on Rago's ship, and Yoder's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so... I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoder. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But... I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer, so, uh... Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Core back yet. That's true, but isn't that my business? Can't I help out? Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. You can feel it? Who are you calling? Wait, does that mean you can feel it too? Ugh, what a feeling. Yuri... Estelle too? I'm... fine. Don't overexert yourself. We can rest here and have a look around. Seriously? What's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <gasps> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? I can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Y yes thank you. I I'm still doing okay. This is air. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High-density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. But let's look at the paper again. is causing it and probably this strange feeling as well huh 
He's similar to the ones at Emmied Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. Reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. So who are the numbskulls that decided to go and ignore our friendly warning? Sorry, none of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh, <laughs> you don't say. Well now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. The air must be affected, huh? It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You won't just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. it before. Shining Dragon! Shining Dragon! Shining Dragon! 
monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? Oh. Hey, I learned something. We made it. What about Carol? There ain't a monster alive that wasn't born to be my punching bag. Master, it's too dangerous. This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life. Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me! I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind. I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense.
common rabble, so I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y yuri but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lol and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwan, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang. It's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? Hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking! Walk, I say! Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedleway? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write, you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name, Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero, and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? 
She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dongrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Ker Bakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do? So both of you are here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but the royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the Imperial throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the Imperial Knights and that of the Council. Your Highness, there's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelise has the support of the Council. She's a princess, after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's gotta be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliza's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. Wait, I say! Hey, it's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide! Yuri Lowell, 
You will battle with us here, I say, fair and square. If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. They'll make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! as your own. That doesn't belong to the knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you, but before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Rah! I say... Rah! Maybe it has something to do with over-limit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! Say, watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! Oh, it didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. <laughs> There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! No, no. I'm full, thank you. Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, take this! You're dead! That's enough for today! First Art! I say, what a terrible turn of events! some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn.
Hey, I thought you went to Siestales. She must have been exhausted today. I didn't want to wake her up. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't. Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <clears throat> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. some repairs on the Blastia here. Give the knights some credit for once, will you? Please, Rita. All right, then. It's okay for you to be wandering around like this? Yes, but can I stay with you until it's time to return to Zophius? I don't mind at all. has been making some odd noises. Do you think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. What do you think that scary monster we saw in Kare Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the Hunting Blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again.
ready for Rita. Do you even hear what you're saying? You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Yeah. Come on, we're going to. Can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Estelise. Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. We should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing arts so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. Look, don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerbakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to... Maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses... You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? Huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. 
It's all right. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... But how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here. What's going on? Huh? Ah! What was that thing? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I've pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dungrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dungrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out, then. It might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go, then! It doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh, yeah. The plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider that connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um... Then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. 
You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right then! It's the Forest of Cave Mock by way of Dongrest! I have a job for you. I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the nights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way, he's something of a symbol for the Knights. Many who are in the Knights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear. I don't have much in common with him.